What's up guys? Today is an awesome day here at K-Tech. We've got an LT5 on the dyno that we're going to take up to a thousand horsepower. It's going to be sweet. To prepare for today, we engineered a progression of stages for this LT5 engine. For the baseline, we started with the factory LT5 engine and the K-Tech Extreme DI fuel system. We ran the engine on 93 pump gas. We were able to achieve 788 horsepower and 762 pound-feet of torque. This is slightly higher than the factory GM LT5, but we're running open headers uh, with a more efficient intake. The next stage was to convert to E85. To do this, we had to install a 30% over set of injectors. With this combination, we were able to achieve 925 horsepower STP and 859 pound-feet of torque. Following the conversion of E85, we installed an upper pulley supplied by GripTech and Z Industries. With this combination, we were able to achieve 992 horsepower and 991 pound-feet of torque. Finally, for today, we ported the supercharger and installed a KTEC 103 throttle body. So let's get started. So key to all these engine modifications that KTEC has done to this LT5 engine is the KTEC Extreme DI fuel system. So we're running a factory cam, we don't have a fuel lobe. The only thing we changed is we added our second fuel pump. So we pretty much double up the high pressure pump capacity and we changed the DI injectors to the KTEC 30% over LT4 injectors. That's the only changes, it's pretty much bolt on. We didn't pull the cam, we didn't rip the engine apart. We just ported the blower a little bit, put a pulley on and our belt driven pump, and we make 1,000,000 on straight E85. You may be wondering if we can calibrate the C7ZR1s, and we cannot. Uh, this package and kit is available right now for hot rod and marine applications. All right, that was awesome, but that's only phase one on this LT5. After this, we're gonna add a head and cam package and then even more air, so stay tuned. <laughs> 